Today I'm unpackaging a brand new Kuretake brush pin, which I got a couple of days ago. And I have used these pins in the past. This one here is a little bit different though. I thought that the nib would be a more paintbrush type nib, but it's a very hard, stiff nib that doesn't flex. And I did have a little bit of an issue with drawing with it. it you know, I felt like drawing for the first time again because I've been using fine liners and microns for the past couple months. So trying something else is very difficult. But it works fine. It's a pretty good pen. Good for writing down lettering and everything. So I started off drawing a couple of faces and then some eyes. Very simple stuff. This is one of those pens that I don't plan on using a lot. I'll use it from time to time on the occasion when I'm sketching or maybe when I have a diagram where I want to write some letters and words down. But I generally tend to stick with the same pen, a Pigma Micron, or from time to time I'll use a technical pen, maybe a Rotring or Statler Marsmatic, but I like trying different things out and sometimes it makes me want to draw more, but I definitely had a little bit of an issue trying to make good drawings with this. Of course, I only filled like two pages really. Oftentimes the reason that my drawings don't turn out the way that I want them is because I'm too focused on filming. I'm looking at the viewfinder on my camera while I'm drawing and so it's a challenge doing both. I should just focus on the page instead of what I'm filming so much, but it is what it is. That's the problem with trying to film and draw at the same time. So when I'm not filming, the drawings turn out better usually. The main reason that I have this pen in the first place is to fill in large dark areas of black ink and it really helps when I'm making fine detailed drawings with a finer Pigma Micron and then I can go in and fill in everything very quickly. But other than that, the ink flow is dark, it's very smooth and I had a good time with it. So that's all for this video, goodbye.